This is Acts chapter 2, verse 36. Therefore, let all the house of Israel know assuredly that Yahweh hath made that same Yahweh Shai, whom ye have crucified, both Lord and Hamashiach. Now when they heard this, they were pricked in their heart and said unto Peter and to the rest of the apostles, men and brethren, what shall we do? Then Peter said unto them, repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Yahawashai Hamashiach for the remission of sins and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. For the promise is unto you and to your children and to all that are afar off, even as many as the Lord our power shall call. I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Yahweh Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, who teach and rule well, and peace and salutation to the elect. I'm going to read that verse again. This is Acts chapter 2, verse 39. It says, For the promise is unto you and to your children and to all that are afar off, even as many as the Lord our power shall call. Okay. Now, the reason why I'm bringing this out is because there's a misconception in the world that all people can be saved. However, when you read the scriptures and what's mentioned here in the book of Acts, which is in the New Testament, which references the Old Testament, it's talking about a promise and how that promise was only unto the children of Israel. OK, and we can prove that by going to uh, Acts, the second chapter and. There's several uh, points here, but I'm just going to bring out a couple. This is Acts chapter two, verse five. It says, and there were dwelling at Jerusalem, Jews, devout men out of every nation under heaven. OK, going to prove to you at the time of the Pascha, OK, or uh, the Passover. OK, there were Israelites or Jews coming, devout men coming out of every nation under heaven. All right. So let's jump down here to Acts chapter 2, verse 21. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Ye men of Israel, hear these words. Okay. So once again, going to show you who that promise was made for Israelites only. Okay. To us and our children after us. All right. But let's get this word here promised just to bring some edification. Strong's G 1860. Epangelia. Epangelia. Okay, it says announcement, promise, the act of promising, a promise given or to be given, a promised good or blessing. Okay, now when you go and you break down this word, Epangalia, I believe that that's how you say it. Okay, it goes back to the root, uh, 1861. And then when you break down this word, it's a, uh, a combined word. Okay, there's the, the epi, okay, the e. Uh, the uh, Epsilon uh, Phi uh, Iota Epi, okay? And it says, and the base is angel or messenger, okay? So there's a message for that promise specifically to Israelites. And now when you get into this word, which is basically the same thing as 1860, it's 1861, okay? It says to announce that one is about to do or furnish something, okay? Almost like to prophesy, okay, to say or to do before, all right? And the thing that was done before was promises were made to Israelites. It says to promise of one's own accord, to engage voluntarily. It says to profess, to profess one's skill in something, all right? So basically that promise is Yahweh Shimei Awashai making it known that he is in uh, uh, extended that agreement, that covenant, that promise to Israelites. And that goes all the way back to Moses. That goes all the way back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob specifically. Okay. Because those promises were not given unto anyone else. All right. Let's get Romans chapter nine, verse one. I say the truth in Hamashiach. I lie not my conscience also bearing me witness in the, in the Holy ghost. That I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. For I could wish, for I could wish 
that myself were accursed from Hamashiach for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh, who are Israelites, to whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law and the service of Yahweh and the promises. Okay, these prom promises are given unto you. It says Acts 2 and 39, for the promise is unto you and to your children and to all that are far off, even as many as the Lord our power shall call. Because we were scattered, we were dispersed amongst all the heathen nations. All right. But the point being here is Israelites are the only ones in which whom that promise was made. OK. And when you go into that word there, promise, I believe it's that 1860 as well. OK. G1860. Strong's G1860. Epangelia. Epangelia. Which goes back to the promise. Uh, actually, Salat. Is this? Yep. Well, let me get 1860. Because that's the one I really want. Salat, Salat. But, I mean, both of them are the same word. You know? It's a promise that is made from one or an announcement um, to be given to another. And the recipient, the, the beneficiary of that promise are Israelites only. All right. This is Galatian, Galatians 3 and 16. It says, now to Abraham and his seed were the promises made. He saith not and to seeds as of many, but as of one and to thy seed, which is Hamashiach. Okay. So from Abraham through Isaac, through Jacob, through King David, to Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai. That is who the promises are made. Israelites. The promises is only, the promises are only for Israelites. Okay. The adoption, the covenant. Okay. The service of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. All of that is for Israelites. This whole Bible is only for you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans on your father's side. That seed. Okay. Going back to sperma. I believe that's the word here for seed. Kind. Sperma. Strong's G 4690. Sperma. Sperma. This is Galatians 3 and 17. It says, And this I say that the covenant that was confirmed before of Yahweh in Hamashiach, the law, which was 400 years, was which was 430 years after, cannot disannul that it should make the promise of none effect. For if the inheritance be of the law, it is no more of promise. But Yahweh gave it to Abraham by promise. So Abraham, his seeds, their seeds, seeds, their children for everlasting covenant. All right. Let's jump down here to Galatians 3 and 29. It says, and if ye be Hamashiachs, then ye are Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. Because the promise was made with Abraham. The, the promise was made with Jacob. The promise was made with Isaac. There were no promises made with any other nations. Okay? And this, this is one of my favorite books, Hebrews, because in the book of Hebrews, it goes to show you who those promises were made to. Okay? Hebrews. Retarded people, man. This is Hebrews uh, 11. I'm just going to read the point. Verse 8. By faith, keyword ingredient, okay, of that promise. By faith, Abraham, when he was called to go out into a place where which he should after receive for an inheritance, obeyed, and he went out not knowing whether he went. By faith, he sojourned in the land of promise as a strange country, as in a strange country, dwelling in tabernacles with Isaac and Jacob, the heirs with him of the same promise. Who are just Israelites? Okay, it's just true. None of you other heathen nations were made a promise by Yahweh by Shemiah Shai. You were not predestined to do this will or this service, and you're not predestined for salvation. 
and only one third of the nation of Israel is actually uh, slotted for salvation. Okay, that being the hopeful elect, the 144,000 and the one third of our nation that have and are repenting. All right. Another scripture here in the book of Hebrews. This is Hebrews 9 and 15. And for this cause, he is the mediator of the New Testament. Who is that he? Talking about Yahweh Shai. That by means of death, for the redemption of the transgressions that were under the first testament. Uh-oh. What was the first testament? That goes back to the covenant. Goes back to the promises that were made with whom? Israelites. It says, they which are called might receive the promise of eternal inheritance. So, yeah, I mean, hey, that's the lesson, man. Short and sweet, just to uh, refresh, you know, those that, that do know and introduce to those that have not heard that the promises of salvation are only for Israelites and no other uh, nation aside from Israel. Okay? Um, yeah, 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 let's... Let's read this. We'll close out on this. This is Hebrew. Uh, <laughs> I want to say Hebrews again. It's Deuteronomy chapter 6. And yeah, we'll start at 1. It says, Now these are the commandments, the statutes, and the judgments, which the Lord your power commanded to teach you, that ye might do them in the land, whether ye go to possess it. That thou mightest fear the Lord, Yahweh by Shem, Shai, to keep all his statutes and his commandments, which I command thee, thou and thy son. It didn't say daughter. It said thou and thy son. Going back to what? Seed. Okay. Going back to kinsmen. Going back to brethren. Okay. It says, and thy son's son. Woo. All the days of thy life. Okay. Sounds like a promise to me. And that thy days may be prolonged. Hear therefore Israel and observe to do it. That it may be well with thee. Not everyone. With thee. Okay. And that ye may increase mightily. As the Lord Yahweh of our fathers. Salakia. Like as the Lord Yahweh of thy fathers. Hath promised thee. <laughs> In the land that floweth with milk and honey. So, really, that's the lesson, Lord willing. You know, you brothers will edify once again. Call halal like Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Kudash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and salutation to the elect. Shalom.